Hey guys, welcome back inside of the Plastic Planet. I am your host, Nick Nat, coming at you once again from deep inside of the archive room of the Plastic Planet to give you a follow-up video to my 1UP Pac-Man machine uh, vid that I did just a little over a week ago. Now, in that video, uh, you may note, I described, uh, near, kind of near the end of it, a... Uh, a, a modification that I purchased off of eBay for it in which I described as getting new panels for the front part of my machine here to give it a little more of an authentic arcade feel to it. Well, those panels came today and as you can see, panels don't come in a tube. So yeah, I misspoke. These are not panels, they are actually decals that I got. I, I went back and I actually rechecked the uh, eBay listing and sure enough it is Damn obvious, you're ordering decals, not panels. I didn't read very well, unfortunately. That's okay, you know, we all make little mistakes. Sometimes we don't make mistakes on, on YouTube videos that at the, at the time of making this video have over 1,600 views on it, but nevertheless, hey, I'll own it. It's okay, it's okay. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna break out these uh, these decals for you guys tonight though. Get them on my machine here, and, uh, and then maybe you guys can decide if this is something you'd like to order for your Pac-Man 1UP machine. Um, as well. So anyway, all right. Well, let's not waste any more time. I'm going to get these out of the out of their uh, their tube here and uh, and slap them on for you guys. And uh, ho hopefully, it looks really good. I, I have a good feeling. I think it's going to look nice. I hope so. They they weren't exactly cheap for decals, so I hope they look nice. Anyway, all right. Let's do it, guys. Right now. Knickknacks Plastic Planet presents. It's a knickknack micro moment. Alrighty, hey guys, so I am down here on the floor uh, with my with my one-up machine here, and I have un untubed, I guess I wanted to say unboxed, but I've untubed uh, these decals. I gotta say, first impression, looking really nice. Very shiny. Look at look at how much these shine, look at the gloss on them. These are this is even kind of smells real plasticky. This is top shelf shit right here. This looks really, really good. So uh Hopefully I don't mess this up. I gotta say, um, if you're a if you're a longtime subscriber, longtime viewer of my channel, I do say frequently that I am kind of all thumbs. My hand-eye coordination is not the best. I'm not the most handy person in the world. I was able to put the machine together, uh, so I give myself credit for that. Although it wasn't very difficult. Uh, so hopefully I can get this on even and nice. That's kind of my concern at this point. So um, anyway, so I'm gonna start applying them, and uh, I hope this goes well. All right, let's uh, fingers crossed, cause. This could be like a $35, $40 mistake. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's do it. All righty, so first thing is first, um, before I do the kick plate, which is right here, and that was the big piece I just showed you, I'm gonna put this piece on the upper paneling, this awesome Pac-Man uh, decal here. Uh, I'm gonna put it right here, and uh, hopefully this goes well, fingers crossed, but is, that's really nice. Look how, look how shiny that is. Came out really, really nice, I gotta say, I am really impressed. Let's see how well they go on first, but I, so far I'm really impressed. Alrighty, so I'm just gonna do, undo the adhesive here. They're very vinyl feeling. They have a real vinyl feel to them. Um, I think that's a good thing. I think that might have a little forgiveness if I, if I jack this up. Hopefully I'm doing this okay and it is they're, they're they're vinyl so they do they do kind of come off real nice um so there is some give here there is some play um i mean once you stick it on it's not permanent so that's nice Alrighty, so there it is the first part is on there i think there's a couple more bubbles i can work out maybe i'll get a, a like a, a credit card out and kind of work massage it a little bit in um but yeah what do you guys think i think it's looking pretty damn good don't you um, really nice. It kind of gives it, it gives the gives the gives the machine a lot of shine. Um, so yeah. Uh, all right. So now the real moment of truth is to do this big guy. So uh, all right, all right. Let's do it. Alrighty. So here I am removing it, as you can see. And look, these are really nice in that they are vinyl, like I said. So there's a lot of play with them. Um, you know, once you get it on, it's, it's not like instant gluey glue mess. Um, and they can be easily removed too. If, if, if you, if you want to go back to your, to just, you know, having your one up machine, but anyway, let me try to get this even as even as possible. Um, again, thank goodness there's some give here. Although, hey.
One one other nice thing with the with these one-up machines is they're so light. I can literally kind of tip it up out of the riser while I'm doing this, and you know it's not not heavy at all. So at least at least there's that. Maybe this might be something better to do with two people. Alrighty, so, alrighty, so I'm having a little trouble getting this larger piece on and giving it, getting it nice and even. Again, it is vinyl, so it gives you a lot of give. Um, so there, it does, it does, it is very forgiving as far as making mistakes. Nevertheless, I, I think I need a second set of hands to do this. So I've enlisted the help of my son. Come on down here, buddy. This is my son. This is Bat Boy. He's a good kid, uh, and uh, he's going to help me out a little bit. So what I want you to do, buddy, is I want you to kind of, kind of lift a little bit. Okay, that's it. That's enough. Okay, and kind of move out of the way so people can see. You're doing great. Alrighty, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to get this as smooth as possible on here. Alrighty, so literally we had to turn the machine over onto its back here. I needed literally three sets of hands to manipulate this. My son had to hold it from the top, I had to stretch it from the bottom, and then we had to have my wife, my beautiful, uh, wife here, aka Disney Girly Girl, to come along with a credit card and to kind of work out the work out the bubbles in the middle. This was a grade A bitch, guys. Now maybe you're better with your hands than, than we are, although my wife is very crafty, so uh, so maybe not. But anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know that this is kind of the way we had to do it. Actually, I had to take it off the riser, which is, you know, not... That's that's not that's not too out of the ordinary, uh, but nevertheless, to, to to really get this thing on without a ton of air bubbles, um, it's been kind of difficult. So that's 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 where we're at now. Hey, babe, good job. Yeah, yeah. Alrighty, so we have finished up here. Um, that was a lot more of a, of a job than I thought it would be. It looks really, really good. I got I got my son down here, um, aka Bat Boy. What do you think, Bat Boy? Too much work. It's too much work, but it looks good though, right? Yeah, it looks good. I think it looks pretty good. Um, there were some bubbles still in it. We had a hard time working those bubbles out. Um, as you know, I had my, my wife down here, my very beautiful and understanding wife helping us out here. Um, I think it came out pretty good though. Uh, just word of caution, uh, take your time, be patient. Um, those are two qualities that I do not always have with these sorts of things. Fortunately, um, the fact that it is very sturdy vinyl and it has a lot of forgiveness, um, it, won't, it, it won't tear easy on you. So you do have that working for you. Um, but yeah, kind of, kind of high maintenance on this one. I will agree, but I do believe the final result is looking really, really goddamn good. Alrighty guys, well I hope you've enjoyed this edition of The Plastic Planet, a rather abbreviated edition as it would be. This is actually more just a follow-up to my original review of the Pac-Man Arcade 1-Up machine you see right here before you, uh, with the addition of these awesome, awesome decals that I purchased from an independent printer off of eBay. Um, if this is something you'd be interested in doing to your Pac-Man machine, I will leave the uh, link to that particular eBay seller's uh, page in the descriptor of this video so you can go and check it out for yourself. Uh, keep in mind they are decals, not panels like I originally described in my original video, my bad. Nevertheless, I still think it looks really, really damn good. Although as you can see in the video, uh, installing this kick plate uh, was a little bit problematic. But you know, anytime you're dealing with vinyl stickers in a large area, you're gonna have to have multiple hands, I think, to work out all those air bubbles and whatnot. Um, and to take your time and to be patient, the most important part. But like I said in the video, these vinyl uh, stickles or stickers are, are very durable. They're not gonna tear on you. And so from that respect, um, they really are kind of worth, worth the price that I paid for. All right, guys, well, like I said, that's going to wrap up this edition of The Plastic Planet. Please like, share, comment, and please do subscribe if you're not already a subscriber of mine. We have a great time here on The Plastic Planet. Do keep in mind that I am typically a action figure channel. I typically cover higher-end action figures such as Hot Toys and Sideshow Collectibles, particularly Star Wars and DC Comics, some Transformers, some Star Trek, but those are mostly my sweet spots here. And uh, we try to have a really fun time doing it because I like to laugh at this hobby because I, while I am very passionate about it, it is kind of ridiculous to be a 43-year-old man collecting toys. But that's okay because we all have to have our passions in life and plastic crap happens to be mine. All right, guys. Well, like I said, that's going to wrap up this edition of The Plastic Planet. Uh, until next time, guys. Hey, remember, life is oh so very short. So get out there. Get out there and 
fill it with some plastic crap. All right, guys, till next time. Love you. Later.